At about 8 p.m., the first ever televised presidential debate commenced at the fully packed Victoria Hall, Kampala Serena Conference Center. With thousands gleefully seated in their living rooms to catch the debate on television and Ugandans in the diaspora awaiting to watch it online, the moderators got off the blocks going for the juggler. Uh, when it comes to debt management, uh, okay, the, the issue of debt, I would like to look at uh, controlling public expenditure. That will help us save some money and service the debt. Into restoring cooperatives, uh, putting, for instance, um, uh, mechanized agriculture in place, commercialized agriculture, and organizing people according to their strengths. With the debt that we are uh, contracting is debt that goes into private pockets. If it was going into, if it was going into production, then it would be going a long way into repaying itself. To agriculture, following the Maputo Declaration, three trillion, so that every district is an export zone. Is an export zone. I'm not standing on my own. As I told so you, you, can you, can, you can distill for us what is, is, is in that. <laughs> Kindly, sir. Being in debt is all right. There's nothing wrong with it. The question is to what use you put the money you borrow? Because we don't have a serious parliament. We have people whom we are sending to parliament who must be somewhere in a village council. Some of those we spoke to observed that some of Maureen Chidia's statements bore tribal connotations, while others faulted her over schoolboy errors. During the debate, Chidia said the oil had not benefited the people of Toro and claimed Dr. Chiza Besige's wife, Winnie Bianima, was the sister of the president. If you want to find children studying uh, under trees, go to the other side of the Nile, uh, the eastern, northern side of the Nile. If you want to find children studying in double storage houses, go to this, the western side of the Nile. Ethnic based politics, I think that is really not a, a good point because you see, if you pluralize the country at this particular time when everybody is yearning for unity, I think that is really not, not a good point. People have accused you of uh, trying to be quite uh, tribalistic and uh, they say that is not good for the future of this country. What do you partake of? To be honest, I cannot hide the fact that I'm a Msoga, and I'm proud of being a Msoga. This is Africa. Unlike uh, England, where everybody is English, whether they are Welsh or they are Scottish, they are English. You said that it's, you don't think that you can lose. I'm just wondering if you have seen any polls or other sort of evidence that might indicate that indeed you cannot lose. Yeah, the indicators is, the indicators are, as I said, Joseph Mavides was not fit to contest the presidency. The level of articulation is really below uh, secondary level, in my view. A Makere University political science don, Dr. Sabit Makara, says some of the promises the candidates offered were unrealistic. Unless the, some of the promises are phased over what we may call short term, uh, medium term, and long term, uh, I think the promises could be so big that they cannot be achieved in the next five years. The debate drew mixed reactions from the public. These people tried. Because I was with some of the candidates actually, they were not aware of these questions. So some of them were being taken by surprise. But we hope next uh, debate it will be better than this. When it comes to the, the aspiring woman, she has really answered it perfectly very well. Yet other candidates have really not talked anything new. They are just repeating things we've seen before and they've not really worked out. You, they were not as engaging enough as I would love them to be. I think they seem to have held back something. But uh, I think uh, the fact that President Museveni uh, went hiding uh, and was not prepared to come and defend his record because he's running away from something. Uh, I, I think also uh, if he was there, maybe all these others would have engaged him more. Many say that this debate is one step of Uganda moving away from the gutter politics to civilized politics as to whether this debate will affect the decisions of the Ugandans on the 18th of February 2016 remains another matter. But it is hoped that President Seven will show up for the other debate on 10th February. Still, Biarohanga, 
NTV.